It's almost Christmas. Oh my goodness, so fast it gets here, doesn't it? After December gets here, or Thanksgiving, then we're on the rush to go, to go, to go. Today I have some new projects to share with you. Um, I've been working on a bird um, journal for Aldusina uh, uh, scraps and my d design team project, and I so I decided I would make my own birds as well. And while I was thinking about it, I thought, well, gee, cardinals are nice on Christmas trees. Why don't I see if I can make some cardinals, some easy cardinals? Because I hate to do tons and tons of work and then just put it away for a year, get it out once a year. And these are really very simple. The backs, they're made out of paper. Here's one. I'm going to decorate this with you today. Here is the pattern, a simple pattern, and it has a wing, of course, and I had to start labeling because I started making all kinds of birds. <laughs> and I'm going to show you a few um, techniques, give you some ideas on how to make them kind of pop, use ribbon with them, and uh, some maybe some appliques, some velvet, and I'm also going to show you these little birds because these are not... Uh, um, Cardinals, you notice they don't have the point on the head and they have shorter tails. These are for my journal. They're going into a journal and they're just made out of fabric and paper because I want to be able to glue them into my journal. So I'm going to go over that with you. Now the patterns for these are in my Facebook group and they are free and you're welcome to them. If you are in my Facebook group or you haven't joined, I have the link below in my description and you can go join and get, I have a lot of other patterns in there as well, and you can get these patterns for free. They will be uh, pinned in the feature at the top. <clears throat> so you'll be able to find them pretty quickly, I think. And I just want to quickly show you some other things that are in my Etsy shop that I've been working on. I love these little dresses. I see people making these all the time. So I put a few in, in my shop, and uh, this is more or less a, a white one and I it's it's longer this is more of an ornamental and this is more of an ornamental uh, that you would hang on a tree because they're shorter they're not as full and then I have this one that I think of is kind of like a fairy one it's pink and I've put on some pretty beaded appliques that I got off of a gorgeous gown and I have a pretty rose on there. And I've made my own um, hangers from chipboard. And this is glitter paper, but it does not peel. It's the good kind that you buy that's already on there. You don't have to worry about it peeling off. But I don't have any other right now that I want to use for the hanger. So um, I, I took the brown that I have in my stash because I'm going to have to go and buy some because you know I'm going to want to make pink hangers. I'm going to want to make silver hangers. Oh yeah, I'm going to want to do it all. So these are in my uh, shop. Oh, and there's one more thing. Let me go get it. I forgot. Just real quick before we get to the birds. I love the shabby chic style. Because you can do so much with it and decorate so much. So I made a shabby chic rag bow. I don't know if you, you've seen them probably on Pinterest. That's where I saw them. Pinterest and on Etsy people sell them. This one happens to be, wow, 21 inches long from the top of the, the flower, which was an expensive flower from Michael's, to the bottom of the rags. And um, I've put an applique in here and some hanging beads as well. And then there's a hook on the back for you to hang with. And these are all, so this is all in my shop and a good time to buy things for Christmas, right? <laughs> okay, I think so. So let's get on to the cardinals. I'm going to show you a couple little things. First thing is you just want to make it out of paper or you can use felt if you want to cut it out of red felt. And then, you know, you really don't have to back it then. I didn't back these because I'm not going to do anything with them. I was just, 
I'm not done yet with what I'm doing. Uh, you know, felt would be a great way. If I didn't want to decorate both sides, felt would be a great way to just finish them off. So I wanted to let you know about that. You could do that. But what I did with, let's see. Oh, wait, I want to show you. No, I'll show you that afterwards. Where did it go? Okay, I like velvet. Now, this velvet is all I had a very tiny bit, and it's got little flecks of glitter in them. And I just loved it. And on this bird, I used lace, and I only had this much lace. So I was really stuck, and I thought, oh, I just, I had enough, a, a little bit for the, um, the wing, but I... I just had to use it on the body. I thought it was so pretty. and But it's all I had. I don't know where I got it. The rest, this is ribbon. And with this felt, I also added cotton. I used two different um, colors of cotton just to give it some depth. You know what I mean? And an applique. So what I first did is I took the darker cotton. And I like... I got these at Walmart for 97 cents a piece. They're just those um, quarter uh, uh, quilt squares, you know, for 97 cents. I kind of took just the body and I figured out about where, how big it would be. So I've already ripped this. I'm into ripping. So I just want to rip here and I want to rip to there. So let's rip here. And then I'm going to rip there. Okay. Now I have a piece that's big enough to cover the body. And I'm going to put that on with my hot glue gun. Which is leaking all over the place. Okay. I also have a cold. So my voice is down about two octaves. So if you think I sound strange, that's why every time I get a cold... I go down and sound like a man or something. Okay, so here we go. Just press it in there. And it's, it's really not so important that you have to rip it to size, but it's easier to work with. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to cut this a little bigger than the body. And I will show you why. Remember, this is a bird, and we kind of want to give it that uh, uh, frayed look like feathers and I did forget my <laughs> no you want to cut around the beak so you have something like that we're, we're going to do the tail separately well first we're going to do the body see if I've got a pin over here all you need is a pin to I didn't bring a pin over because you know why would I do something like that Something that I need. Huh. You know what? I got to go get one to show you how to do this. Okay, so what I use is my awl. And all I do to fray the edges, and this is why I leave a little bit of a outline around it, is I just pull it out with my awl. You can do this with a sharp needle. You want to be careful up here. You don't take all that off where his um, his peak is. But then if you go around here, and sometimes it's easier to look in the back and you can see where you are. I wonder if I should bring this down closer. Let's see. You can see what I'm doing. Okay, see, all I'm doing is pulling this out. Because it's cotton, it will fray nicely. If it were um, velvet, no, it, it doesn't. It just depends. The more cotton, the better. So I just do that. And then I have a little bit of a feathered look, you know, not so flat. Now, see, with this one, this was velvet, so I couldn't do that. But the lace took the place of the fray. I think it looked fine. This one I did with cotton, and you could see the fray around here and around here, and for the tail. Shouldn't see that for the bow, but it's there, the nature of organza. Okay, 
So here we go. And then if you want to cut it down, cut any off, you know, do it. This is your bird. Trim it any way you want. If there's too much here, trim it. And you can look over here, but it's, it's good to look at the outline, the pattern, and follow that. It gives you a good guide. Now for the beak, I noticed that the cardinals, their beaks are kind of an orangey red. But I put a yellow in here. You can put anything you want in there. You see I put a, you see that, a yellow. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some orange ink and I'm just going to shade it with that. And I really don't need the fraying there because I'm going to put that black part on there of the eye. And for the eye, I use a white highlighter pen. And I'm just going to do this right here. The bird's eye is black. And the surrounding beak, surrounding the eye is also black. So you just hit a dot of white, which is the highlight of their eye. And you will see that it has an eye. It's just that simple. Okay. So what I might do here and what I'm sure I'm going to do here. Did I bring a pencil? No. Okay. I'll use this. I'm going to take and I'm going to, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to cut the tail off and do that separately. Use my paper scissors. And I, I kind of want to leave a little bit longer than normal because I want to show you with the cotton. Now I'm going to take the other cotton and I'm just going to rip a small piece. And I can glue that down and it's frayed on both edges, both sides. I'll take a piece of this and let me put this up. It's probably too close now. There we go. I'll put a piece of the burgundy. I think of it as burgundy. I don't know if it really is. There. So I've got one, two, a couple of different ways you can do that. Do this. I'm going to cut them off and I'm going to put a third one down here underneath. I'm going to put these two down first. Let's put it that way. I'm going to put these two down first and I'm going to go all the way up here where I've uh, cut the paper pattern and there you have a you have a tail. Okay. I did that with this one but I left some, I did a couple layers because I wanted to leave some just kind of like, you know, I glued these down with hot glue. Then I made some more of these frayed edges very narrow. And because I want to show you another thing with the tail, I'm not going to do it on this one. Then I just added in the smaller that you rip these, the more that they will curl. So I'm ripping this. A uh, quarter of an inch or less. And you can see lots of fraying, lots of curling. So you get an effect. You put it on there and it will <laughs> stick to your fingers, <laughs> whether you want it to or not, because it's not glued down. All right, glue it down. I'm not going to glue it down. So you just put that on, layer it, and put a, um, a burgundy one on. Very, very narrow, same way. I have so many different scissors for everything. Paper, plastic, fabric, you name it. Because <laughs> I go through scissors very fast. And then a burgundy. And you can, you know... Just play with it. And what I did is I made a little bow and I put that right at the end of the tail because I glued this together and I mean it looked okay but I wanted to add something more to it. Alright, so now for this uh, tail 
I'm going to show you, I'm going to glue down some velvet. I'm not going to glue past my pattern line because I don't want it to be bulky when I put it back on the bird. So I'm just going to glue it down and I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to look at, well, first let me do this. I'm going to look at this pattern mark. I'm just going to give it a, a trim. Now, for the fun part, I like doing this. Um, I've never seen anybody else do it, but I was just experimenting and playing around with stuff so I could do something uh, nice for the birds, do something different. And I wanted some ribbon. I wanted a different kind of a look. So what I did is I took some organza ribbon. This is 5 eighths inch wide. And I tied a knot in one end. Pulled it really tight. And then I took and I looked at this and I thought, well, I don't want the knots to show, so I want them to be after the tail and before the tail. So I'm going to make another knot here. I'm eventually going to cut the knots off. So that's what we're, okay. So here we have two knots. And now I'm going to take and I'm going to hot glue this to the back of my bird. Forgot to bring my silicone thing. And now that it's glued there and I'm going to twist, I'm going to twist the ribbon. And first I want to cut that off. I'm going to twist the ribbon and twist. And then I'm going to glue it down over here. I would not push it down quickly. I did that just so it would stay. But I would use the silicone um, spatula thing. And also I would do it lightly. Because you don't want the glue to show through the um, organza. And I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to cut this knot off because it's too bulky. Then I've got another knot already. Okay, let's try and do that again. All right. These are just some simple, simple ideas. I'm actually going to glue this on here before I tie the other knot. That's another way you can do it. Just glue that down. And then I see where my next knot is going to have to be. And I'm going to cut this off or I won't be able to make a knot. It doesn't matter where it is as long as it's something you can hang on to and you can twist. So I'm going to cut this off. Okay. Now this is the second ribbon. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to twist it. Twist it like that. Now you can make it fuller. I did mine kind of full. I did three of them. So I want that apparently up here. If I'm going to do three, I got to move it up. And I just hold my finger there. And I come over and glue it. And then I chop it off. The knots are just for you to hang on to something and to just secure that ribbon. So I'm not going to do a third one because I'm sure you got the knack of it. You understand it. I am going to, well, I'm going to cut this off about like that. 
make sure I'm in frame here. I'm going to take this. Now, there's two ways you can glue the tail on. My tails here are straight, but you could also, let me make this easier for you to see what I'm doing. Okay, here's the head, here's the beak, all right, here's the tail. How the heck did I, yeah, like that, okay. There it is, like that. But you can move the tail. Uh, you'd have to do something in here. You'd have to round that off and move the tail to go down. I mean, you could play around with it. I did it over uh, at my, where I work, and it worked out very nice to have the tail. Okay, I'm going to put that right where that pattern stops. To have the tail going down as well. Now, see, I messed that up, but I don't care because... I'm going to come in and take some of this, and I'm just going to glue a patch of it on, and cover that up, and I just might take some of it and turn it off, and I have some ribbon. I like that ribbon. Let me see. How would that look on the bird? might look really pretty. I think I'll take this part off. Just put that on the bird. Actually, you got to do a wing. Where'd the wing go? <laughs> yeah, okay. I had the wing. Uh, you know me, I lose everything. Okay, there's the wing, which I didn't cut a piece of paper for, so I'll just do it real quickly here. And I didn't bring my pencil over here. So here's the wing, and I think I'm going to put it on some felt just to give it a little more dimension. A little more thickness because I don't have the red. I did these birds on red cardstock. I backed them with red cardstock. Now here, I'm just going to do this. I do like the felt as a backing. It's really nice. Okay, so if I wanted to, I could just glue that on there. And look how pretty that is for the, the um, wing. And I would continue it right on. Put a little bit of, of glue here. Now just let it go down lightly because you don't want it to show through um, the organza. And then trim it. Also, I did the ribbon twist on the, the wing, which you could do. I'm not going to do again because you've, I've already showed you once. <laughs> Don't need to bore you. And just cut it. And look at how pretty that is. Now, the other thing I did for this bird was I took some squares from each cotton like this was the burgundy so I took this and I ripped kind of a I'd say half an inch and then I just did a little ripping here I did about three of them three little pieces and I let them get really frayed because I, I like that feathered look. All right. Before I put the wing on, I just put these here. I just kind of, that one's not good. Let's see. I just kind of put them in a row. Because remember, your wing is going to go over that. Where's the wing? And make it kind of look like feathers. I've already got a mess here. <laughs> okay. Now for the eye. 
all you need to do is either with paper or felt and I use paper on mine but I I'm gonna start using felt because I liked it now where'd that piece of felt go oh of course oh here it is okay here's a piece of felt um, I do have a pattern for you with it but if you want to make it easy on yourself you don't like cutting out little patterns all you got to remember is this goes you kind of do a triangle let's just okay let's just do a triangle it's really a triangle that's all it is and then you cut right here where the head goes so it makes it a lot easier so let me glue this down where I think it should be and then I'm going to cut it off and there you go you have your your bird and I'm gonna put now the eye you might want to use paint because the pen doesn't seem to be working on here but that's where it is that's probably a little big I mean <laughs> I always do this on camera. I never do it right on camera. I hope other people have that same problem because I'm just ridiculous. I'm going to cut it down. It's a little too big. So with the paper, let's find the paper. And let's use the paper scissors. Okay, I find myself, I make it, uh, I make this point first. And then I have a point down here. And a point there. It's kind of a elongated triangle. And then you're just going to cut this edge off. And then you have the bird part. And on this one I also put applique. And I put some velvet on its little feather up there on its head. And actually these don't take long at all. I could have made 20 of them. But I was sitting around working on them and I just thought they were so pretty now if you want to hang them on a tree and you want to hang them this so that they're like this you'd put the if you want to hang if they want them to hang kind of like that you put it there if you want to hang them straight you put it like there okay all right so now I want to show you the bluebirds and here is the journal that I'm working on and here is one of the boy this thing is coming down okay here's one of the pages and one of the birds that I did and I made it into a little tuck spot and it lifts up a little bit and this is Aldecina's uh, paper and so I'll be showing this. Here's another one of the birds. I used some of her paper. I made a smaller bird and I put it there. Um, there's her birds underneath there. And then I used a little dangle to show off her bird. And that's all I've got done with it. I'll be getting more done. But then I plan on doing, this is a CD envelope. And I thought that one of these birds would look really nice in there. Now these are smaller than the cardinal. And they're differently shaped, but the pattern will be there for you. And these are so easy. I can't even tell you how to make them because they're so easy. You just, I used, because I'm going to put them in a journal, I used cardstock for the back. Um, here's, here's a wing that I, I inked up the cardstock and then I put some, vintage applique on there. On this one I probably used oh three or four different colors. Under here you can see I cut out some embroidery, some applique. Um, I did a little bit of um, feathering up at the top of its head and I just cut out little tiny pieces from appliques. These are all little pieces and put it together. And this one the same thing. This is a doily and I even cut some of the doily out here. And I had some of these pretty flowers that I don't really use anymore. So I put them there. And then I have a littler one. You can barely see her beak, but it's there. And for her, 
I put, this is a doily, doily fabric, and some appliques, and she's cute, but you can, you can do it all in paper. Here's, um, and then I did really small, but I'm not going to work with those, I've decided. This is the pattern, and I have the smaller bird is here. So, anyways, now I have a mess here. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you, if you like this video, you'll give me a like and a um, thumbs up. And I hope you'll subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I hope you will join my Facebook group, which is linked below. And get all these free bird patterns and have fun. These are great gifts to give in a hurry. And they're fun to play with if you got a lot of extra fabric or ribbons or whatever and these are great in a journal so i hope you will enjoy them and i will see you in the next video